Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to connect your keyboard to Roblox. Or if you don't have a keyboard, you can pretty much just play any song through this application. Um, it was made by a guy called Great Corner. I'll put a link to his channel in the description to check him out. So what you want to do is you want to go down to Downloads and just download the most recent one. Um, it's pretty easy. Just grab the file. It'll be in a, like a zipped thingy. You want to move it to your desktop or wherever it's easiest for you. And then you just want to extract it um, onto your desktop or right next to it. It makes it easier. Put them right there. And what this does, this application, it lets you like, lets you play your piano as the notes that are on the Roblox piano, like this, you don't need to press shift or anything like that. It just makes it a lot easier. So you wanna drag that next to that, move it to the side. You wanna open that up and you wanna to go to MRIP, the piano symbol one, the, yeah, just a blank one. And this will pop up. You wanna click more info and click run anyway, cause it's, it thinks it's taking over control, but all it's doing is taking your keystrokes and putting it in. So if you have your piano plugged in with whatever it is, you just click the device. If it's not there, click go refresh. There's your tempo, velocity thresholds, like how heavy you press it. You wanna click transpose out of range octaves. What that does is if you press a note, because the Roblox piano is only like 60 something keys and say for mine, it's like 50, mine's like 88. So the ones that are too low, it'll press it on a higher one of the same key. So this is me pressing my keyboard down. It's like above me on a stool so I can only reach the side. Make sure caps is off because it sounds terrible otherwise because everything's off. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the first part. Now, if you want to play a song on this, you want to go into open MIDI and I have a bunch of MIDI songs downloaded for one of this program I use called Synthesia. It like lets you play a piano a bit. So I'll show you an example. We'll download, we'll get Moonlight Sonata third movement. Pretty hard, I don't think anyone can play that on a Roblox piano, but I haven't seen it. So tempo's at 100 and hit play, and there it goes. It automatically plays. Yep, bit of skill there. Easy. So once you've done looking like a pro and everyone is going, wow, you can play that, you're so impressive. You wanna pause that, and this can bug out really easy. So if you if it's still going and you're in the tempo, it's gonna freak out and do like a trillion tempo. And it'll most likely kick you from the game like that. So you're gonna make sure that everything is not going. So if you wanna download uh, a song or add any song in the world, you wanna type it in in Google and just put MIDI after it. So everyone likes playing Unravel, so I've just Googled Unravel MIDI, found the second one. There's a link to download MIDI. They, most of them are free if they're like really niche, like animes or theistas or fond dms you might have to pay with a patron or something like that but there should be a bunch of free ones so we'll go back into the game walk over here and we'll put in our little unravel that we just downloaded let's give that a gander make sure the tempo is at 100 tempo bugs out a lot so sometimes it goes really slow like as you'll see this one is like a, a ballad or like a really slow version of it so you can bump the tempo up a bit Put it to like 140, and give that a go. Still about the same. And put a bit of a boost into it, up to 240. That sounds quicker, but you can definitely tell it's meant for a slow, very slow um, playing. So when it comes to keyboards and what cables to get, I have a Casio CDP230R, which is a nice, it's a nice chunky one. It worked really well, I recommend it if you haven't got one, but the they're not cheap, I'd say. Um, and the cable that goes into the back of that to connect to the computer is called a USB-A to USB-P, USB-B cable. They're just like a generic printer cable that you connect your printer to. I went out and bought one for like eight bucks. It's really long, it's like five meters long. It didn't need to be that long. But yeah, you just connect that to your keyboard. Every keyboard is different, but they usually run around the same cable, so. And then once you've done that, you can play. This is just me playing Send One Secure, one of my favorite songs to play. Even though it sounds kind of weird on here, but I'll let you listen to it. 